Hey YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. Today's another episode of Coral Friday. So I ended up uh, going to my local fish store, uh, Aqua Valley uh, up in Ottawa, and uh, picked out a really nice specimen for you guys. It's been in the tank behind me, in the 220 gallon display tank, for about an hour and a half now. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to acclimate my coral. What that means is adding a little bit of your tank water to the bag, and then make them, the temperatures the same and the salinity so we don't sh uh, shock our coral. So the, the coral I got for you guys today, guys, is uh, the Blamosa coral. is known as the, the pineapple uh, branching coral. Um, it's a really nice color. I end up getting, the, it has green with uh, purple. It's a really nice uh, polyps on it. It's a really nice specimen. So I can't wait to show you guys. Um, this coral, uh, it likes a moderate flow, uh, moderate light, and it likes to be placed near the bottom. So we're going to have to find a place here in the bottom of, uh, near my sand bed on the rock. I'd like to mount it and um, we'll see where we can find it. So the first thing we have to do is uh, we're gonna take this coral downstairs to the lab and then we're gonna coral dip it and uh, see if any pests come off and then we're gonna bring it up. I'll show you where I'm gonna place it. We're gonna put bring the blues down on the radions, get the reef link out and then we'll place it uh, moderate flow, moderate light near the sand bed and then uh, we'll turn the blues down, we'll check it out. So let's head down to the lab right now and see if we need any pests come off this coral before we put it in the display tank. Um, you never want to, you know, you always want to dip your corals before you get them into the tank so you don't get any pests in there and they can eradicate and take over your tank like flatworms, um, pyramid snails, um, aptasia, anything like that. So let's head down to the lab guys and uh, let's coral dip this coral. Alright guys, so I made it down into the fish lab here. Um, I got my coral. I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal I'll show it to you before I take it out of the bag. Um, if you guys can see it. So that's our Blamasa coral right there. You guys can see it. Can't really tell under this light. But it's a it's a beautiful specimen. So before we get started, guys, um, we're gonna end up we're gonna need a, our coral dip. So the coral dip that I've been using uh, for uh, Coral Fridays now, and it's been getting a lot of great results. I got the the ME, the ME coral dip wash off. This stuff is great, guys. It's 100% plant extract, no pesticides, and even if you have new frags or any new acquired corals, it helps uh, heal them up and it helps rejuvenate them as well. So what we're gonna need here, guys, is we got one gallon of uh, seawater or aquarium water. I got it in my famous uh, white bucket. And we need our coral wash dip. So this stuff is uh, dipped two times, this stuff is great. So let's read these directions together and we'll mix this coral, uh, coral dip up, guys. So what we need to do is we need to add 20 milliliters, 20 milliliters of wash off to one gallon of water. So what you're gonna do is the cap is five milliliters, so we need four of them. And we'll dump that in there and then we're gonna mix it up. So if we read this together guys, so add 20 milliliters of wash off is uh, equal to five capfuls of dip into a container of one gallon of water, um, seawater. And it says to bath the corals for 10 to 15 minutes and gently stir. Rinse well in another container before placing in your display tank. So what we're gonna do is after the 15 minutes like I usually do, we're gonna wash those corals three times before we end up putting it in, into the display tank. We don't wanna get any of the, the rinse in there. So let's go ahead, we'll get this all mixed up, and then we're gonna take the, the Blamosa coral, we're gonna dip it for 10 to 15 minutes, gently stir it, and we'll see if we get any pests come off, guys. See if we get some great results. So let's all get it, right, guys. So I got the, the Blamosa coral in the dip right now, so we gotta wait 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm gonna bring you guys in close and personal to check out the ME coral uh, wash off dip in action, all right, guys? I can already see some critters moving around, Few different pests and um, we'll just wait 10 15 minutes. All right, guys, so we got the, the Blamosa coral in here. We're just going to agitate this a little bit, make sure we can start knocking off a little few pests in the new ME coral uh, wash off dip. This stuff smells great, guys. So there's the coral, guys. You already can see a couple little, uh, couple little critters coming off right there. A few Meister shrimp. That looks like it could be a small baby uh, uh, bristle worm. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at the action. If you look at the bottom left, there's a bristle worm coming off. See, when I was handling that coral, you could not see it at all, guys. Look at it, it's just shriveling right up. So I'll move the coral a bit so you guys can see it. Look at that, right in action, guys. Now you can't beat those results. Like, that was fast. It's not liking that coral dip at all. Like, look at all the stuff coming off, guys. All right, so let's give this uh, 10, 15 minutes, like it says on the bottle, 
and we'll see if any more uh, you know bristle worms come off or any other kind of pest guys. Right, this stuff is working great. We just seen the one bristle worm like literally as soon as it hit the hit the wash, ME coral wash, you saw it. It shriveled up and it was just moving around like crazy. But right now I'm going to show you guys uh, what I see. It's pretty amazing. This stuff is like this really good stuff, and uh, I want to bring you guys in close and see what else just came off, guys. All right, the 15 minutes are almost up, but I wanted to show you guys. Like, look it. So we got one, two, three. What else we got here? We got three bristle worms. So let's keep let's agitate this some more. Let's see if we get any more. Any more uh, bristle worms? There's another one. Oh, two more. So how many we got? One, two, three, four, five. So now if I wouldn't have used ME Coral Dip, these five bristles, bristle worms would be in my tank. And I don't really like bristle worms too much. They like messing with your corals and stuff. But that's a big one. Look at the size of it. Oh, there's a smaller one too. I'm really happy I end up using this Coral Dip. Let's just agitate this a little more. It seems like the more I agitator on this coral the more uh, pests keep coming off we're getting great results I want to show you guys up close and personal how well though this coral dip uh, work like look at these worms There's so many all right guys so let's just let it sit a few, little bit longer we only got a couple minutes left and we'll clean it up all right so the blosa has been in the, the ME coral uh, wash off dip for 15 minutes now grand total I end up counting was five uh, five bristle worms and one pest starfish. So we're good, like I just checked over this coral, I did around the bottom, checked out in all little crevices. We look like we're clean from pests, but this ME coral is, seems to be really strong, 100% natural, you can't beat that guys. So I'm definitely recommending this uh, coral dip and uh, you guys should really try it out and check it out. Um, I'll leave the website at the end of the video. So if you guys wanna order some up from uh, ME coral, uh, definitely check it out guys. So let's wash this uh, coral up. Let's take it up uh, to the 220 gallon display tank. We're gonna mount it, we're gonna get it under the blues, we're gonna get the, uh, the reef link open and start turning the radions down and see if we can get this coral to pop, guys. All right, so let's head up to the 220 gallon uh, display tank. Let's go get this uh, Lamosa all mounted up and we'll turn those radions down. All right, so we're at the 220 gallon uh, display tank. So let's get this coral all mounted up and then we'll get the reef link open. We'll start turning the blues down and see if we can get this oh, coral. The application pop, I'm gonna use to mount this coral tonight, guys, is gonna be the Aquascape uh, putty, the two compounds. Um, we end up, we got, the, we got the pink here and then we just take some of the brown or green, you wanna call it. And then when you mix it together, it turns, it looks like a uh, coralline algae. So you take about an inch each and just mix that up. It's really malleable, so we just mix it until it gets that coralline algae uh, look to it. That's how we're gonna mount this coral tonight, guys. I got a really nice spot. I think I'm gonna mount it over here on my, my cliff, uh, cliff work. Um, there's just enough light, just enough flow that this coral should uh, really take off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that all mounted. All right, guys, so the coral, it's all mounted up right now. So I got my reef link open. I got it open on my iPad tonight. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring you guys up close and personal. We'll turn the, the radions down, get the blues going. We're gonna end up seeing uh, how this is gonna pop, guys. So I end up uh, mounting it over here on the right-hand side, uh, mid-level. It's closer to the bottom because I mean, it's just enough flow, just enough light, and uh, we'll see if this can pop right, it out, So guys. here's the coral. So I got my reef link open. Let's see if we can make this pop. You guys can already see how it's purple around the edges and it's green in the middle. So this coral has just been put in. It's definitely the polyps are going to open up. They're going to extend a lot more. So, But to get the effect, let's try uh, turning down the, the turn down the blues, guys. So let's take uh, our reds right down to zero. Let's take our greens right down to zero. Take our cool whites right down to zero. So now we're starting to get something going on here. As you guys can see, it's starting to pop there now. So that's a definitely a beautiful specimen. I'm happy to be able to show you guys. So it's really popping. I can't wait for that to encrust all over this side of my cliff. So you guys can see, uh, see the polyps there. It's starting to open up. It'll take a little time, but it'll definitely going to be. So let's see if we can bring anything else down here. Looking very nice.
So let's try another setting. So let's bring a let's bring the reef link all the way back up. Let's go into some presets. Let's bring it down to let's do some color coral radiance. It's nice looking. Some deep blues. Let's go uh, polyfluorescent. Yep, that is definitely a nice popping coral there right now. Let's go reef creation. All right, guys. Let's uh let's just go back here now. Very nice. This coral will really benefit if you can keep all your elements uh, in the right PPM. Um, if you keep your uh, magnesium, your calcium, uh, your strontium, and alkalinity all in check, this coral will really take off and it's start encrusting all over uh, your rock. Nice. If you want to feed the feed this coral, you can put some uh, zooplankton in there or feed it some uh, smart, like really small particle food like uh, reefroids, something like that that has really tiny particles because uh, the polyps, uh, when it's feeding, it only has a little bit of a mouth on it, so it's hard for it to get take in larger pieces of food. All right, so that's the specimen for this week, guys. I hope you guys uh, like this coral. Um, so I hope you guys tune in next week. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button. I'll see you next Friday.